Good morning, muffins. It's Cherie. I'm gonna start adding that in so that people who don't know know my name. Sorry, I'm getting some notifications. Um, I totally forgot to vlog. It is like eight o'clock in the morning and I've been up since five and I've already had my coffee and I just totally forgot. My days have been all off this week. All yesterday, I thought it was Tuesday and a friend of mine was like, oh, I can't do trivia tomorrow because I'm going to stay at a friend's house. And I was like, isn't trivia on Thursdays? And isn't today Tuesday? And she's like, no. <laughs> so my days are just all, I don't know, kerfluffled. I like that word. Um, anyway, so I just got out of the shower and my face is red because I've been exfoliating it to try and get rid of this beast. Um, but yeah, so vegan. I'm, I'm vegan. What? Uh, <laughs> it's been going awesome. It has not been super challenging for me. Um, I think it's just mostly because Celia and I both, like, we're very interested in, like, plant-based and, like, natural and healthy. Um, so these foods aren't really, like, foreign to us. Uh, and really the, the hardest thing that's been for me is dairy, eliminating dairy, mostly just because I would always quickly go for cheese as a snack and then cheese just makes everything taste better. And then of course coffee creamer. Uh, but it hasn't been so terrible that I feel like, oh God, you know, I'm gonna die. Uh, but it's just been a little bit like, oh, I miss cheese. But yeah, so it's been going really well. I, I feel really good. Like my body feels really good. I feel really, um like clean and like things are running smoother and my stomach is flatter than it's been in forever. My husband hugged me yesterday and he's like, you feel so skinny. And I was like, it's because I'm vegan. So now I'm kind of starting to see why vegans like feel better than everyone else because they are better. Just kidding. Um, but yeah, so uh, I feel I feel a lot smoother. <laughs> And I don't know, I just feel good. I don't I don't have any like uh, boosted energy or anything like that. Um, but I do feel really satiated and I don't feel snacky between meals, which is weird. And I have not wanted dessert. Now I have eaten dessert mostly because it was donuts and I had them on hand and I had the points, but I didn't really, I wasn't like craving a dessert and I wasn't hungry. Uh, last night I didn't have a dessert at all. I don't even think I had one Wednesday. I think Tuesday when I had donuts before me and my husband ate them all was the last time I had a dessert and I haven't wanted one. Like I just haven't, usually I'll have a meal, like my dinner meal and then, um, you know, sorry, my husband's texting me. So I'll have a dinner meal and then an hour and a half later, I'm like, man, I really want like a cup of coffee and something sweet and sugary and delicious. And I haven't had that the last few days. So I don't know if that's because I'm doing vegan. I don't know if that's just because I'm I'm full of vegetables with my dinner meal. Um, so I, I, don't, I don't really know what the, the reason is, but I'm okay with it. Uh, and the scale, I'm not going to tell you my total because I weigh in officially tomorrow. But it has been real nice to me this week. Um, so again, these are all factors that I'm not so sure about. I was talking to my husband about it because I've been frustrated with my weigh-ins last two weeks because um, they've been pretty low considering I feel like what my effort has been. Um, and I've already surpassed that. And he's like, well, it's probably just because your body was going to have a big loss this week anyway. And I was like, no, I really think it's because I just feel cleaner. So we'll still see. I do think that I don't know if I could I could commit to being vegan forever and like always. But I do think I'm going to vastly reduce the amount of meat and dairy that I have in my diet and really kind of focus more on vegetables. I think that's been the big change for me is that I have been looking for a way to incorporate more vegetables in my diet um, and eat cleaner and vegan food is just healthier. Like you can't really argue it. Like it's, it's healthy, you know? So, um, you know, I'm, I'm not, I don't think I can commit to totally being vegan forever, but I definitely want to like incorporate more of these meals in my daily life. So today, sorry, I don't know where I'm looking. Oh, so today, <laughs> um, I'm going to have lunch with a friend. Here's where I'm going to struggle because my friend picked a restaurant that is my absolute favorite Mexican restaurant. Like, I love their Mexican food. My favorite salad on the planet is at this restaurant, but of course it has meat and cheese on it. Um, I'm a little bit concerned because I looked at the menu. They have a very small vegetarian menu, but it's all cheese-based, like cheese quesadillas and um, soups that have cheese in them or like cream-based, but there's vegetables. I don't know. Um, so I don't know what I'm going to do because I've been eating a lot of like peppers and onions just because they're high in flavor and crunch and tastiness when you're doing vegan food, but they are kind of messing with my stomach a little bit. Like I'm eating, 
I have I have like a sensitive stomach to those sort of foods, nightshade family foods. Um, and the only thing they have on the me- on the menu that is vegan is is fajita vi- <laughs> is vegetarian fajitas, but they are um, it's like peppers, onions, and tomatoes, which is like all nightshades. So um, yeah, so I don't know what I'm gonna do for lunch. I'm hoping I can stick to plan. I'm hoping I can just get a sad salad and eat chips and salsa and guacamole or something, but. The, now, doing this challenge, like, I totally feel for my vegan friends now because I see how hard it is to, like, eat out or eat around other people who are not vegan. Um, it's not an easy lifestyle, and I think any person who does this full-time, what, regardless of your reasons, whether they're health or, um, you know, other more deep reasons, I you're, like, awesome. I mean, you guys are strong, strong people, and I know you get a lot of crap for being vegan, Um, so just know that this meat eater is on your team. But yeah, so today, eating lunch with a friend, trying to stay vegan, gonna put on some makeup. I actually washed my hair. I shaved my legs today, so I basically feel like a supermodel. Do you ever, like, like you've just been in a, like, a funky rut for, like, a couple days or, like, a week or so, and, like, I get in these ruts where I'm just, like, I don't, I just don't want to do anything. I don't want to feel pretty. And I, like, you know, don't wash my hair, and, like, my legs need to be shaved, and, like, I mean, I base, I do basic cleaning, but I'm not, like, I don't deeply cleanse and, like, exfoliate and, like, wear a mask. I just haven't been my girly self, like, the last couple days. I've just been in a little bit of a funk. So whenever I get spruced up after a funk, I feel like the world ain't ready for me. So I'm going to hop on, do some eBay before I head out. I got this huge thing of water. I'm going to try and chug this before I go. And I think I'm going to eat, like, a big bowl of fruit before I go so I'm not starving, which will keep the temptation down but also the points down. Um, so yeah, so that's my plan. Stan. On the road. Um, I'm starting to get a little bit anxious because I don't know what I'm going to order and I don't know what to eat. Um, um, I don't like it. I don't like, that's the only thing I don't like about challenges is because I try so hard to do them and then if I can't or don't, then I feel super bad about it. Um, I have no idea what I'm going to order. Like, I was not, I was not mentally prepared. And I, and I couldn't get mentally prepared before I left. <laughs> uh, so anyway, so I'm on my way to lunch. Wearing some shorts that I haven't been able to fit into in a really long time. And uh, hopefully I will find something that I can eat that's vegan and not covered in onions. Because I'm just not feeling so great in the tummy. It's not so great. Uh, so yeah, so I guess I'll update you. Fingers crossed. May the force be with me. It's like 97 degrees of, of misery. Um, I just got done hanging out with my friend and we went to lunch and it was so not a big deal. Like I totally stuck to veganness. Um, she wanted to order a cheese dip and I was like, girl, <laughs> do not bring that around me. So she ordered it, but she got it with jalapenos. So that didn't tempt me at all because I can't eat anything spicy. Um, so I just ordered a side salad with um, avocados and then I got Italian dressing. And then I ate like my body weight in chips and salsa. Um, so I, I blew my points I know on, my, on the chips, but the salad was completely filling. I didn't even eat it all. And uh, salsa was of course vegan. So I was vegan all through lunch. I'm so proud of myself. Good job, you. Uh, so yeah, so now I'm headed home to make some dinner. I'm gonna make portobello mushroom burgers for just me. My husband is not about that portobello life. Uh, and I'll see you guys in a bit. Here is dinner. It's just a veggie wrap that I got at the store. Um, it's hummus, lots of veggies, and then there's some kind of oil and vinegar dressing on it. And then I found these really weird grapes. They're like oblong. They're super, they're super weird, but they're called moon drops. Thought they were cute. Picked up some sprouts to try out on some veggie sandwiches, and then I got some cashew milk because Celia said it's good in coffee. Fingers crossed. And so my day is done. We just finished dinner. Um, I was gonna do portobello mushroom burgers, but I got home from my friend's house and I was just really tired and my husband was like, whatever. And so I decided to go and get sandwiches and they had a veggie wrap. Um, their version came with cheese, but I just 
didn't put it on there. It was actually really good. I'm like in love with hummus. I can't stop eating hummus. Um, so I basically killed it today. Uh, I was really nervous about lunch and I very easily could have just gone off the rails for dinner, but I didn't. Um, and I kind of kept my carbs down, I feel like, because I did a wrap instead of like a big sub. So I'm hoping the scale is super nice to me in the morning. Um, but yeah, so lunch went smooth. I was so worried about it and so nervous and so freaked out. Um, and it was totally fine. Sorry guys, there's something in my eye. So I am stuffed. Like I am so full. I'm probably not going to eat anything else. If I do, it's going to be a little bit of fruit or something, but probably not. Um, and I'm going to end my vlog here. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to tune in tomorrow for Celia's video. And I'll see you guys Monday. Bye.